Hello and welcome back to another end up with our video. Today we are going to be going over a few things about the upcoming snowstorm in most parts of the northern part of the US as well as more into today's weather since there is going to be some more hyperactive type of storms we're going to be seeing snow squalls at the same time we could be seeing some fires at the same time we could be seeing some heavy rainfall in the south and at the same time we still have this cold threat so let's get right on into it and start off with today's topic so today's topic is what about the northeast snowstorm so right now we are kind of expecting a snowstorm in the northeast but as of the last six hours before I'm recording this, there has been a significant change to the models that will possibly affect the next week or so. So let's go over that now. So this is the European model. Of course we get our Southern Rainmaker, that's all the same. We want to start looking at this system here. European model has a little pressure moving onto the coastline. It starts to strengthen in the Rockies. Now that starts to move out into the plains, brings some lighter snowfall. But overall, you can see that compared to yesterday, this storm is relatively weaker. Now, as we move along, you get that little pressure that forms, but it's much further south, having DC get a lot more snowfall than was first expected, as well as the Twin Cities area, Milwaukee, Detroit, the, and even into parts of most of the Northeast actually not getting as much snow as they were going to. You can see that this storm cuts off in the right around the Pennsylvania and New York border and the Pennsyl and the New York New Jersey border and that could be significant because of travel impacts. Now, of course, you'll have some significant travel impacts down south where you might have areas such as Richmond, D.C. getting significant snowfall totals, probably for the first time in a very long time. But, you get two rounds of snow with this impacting the very same area, just a little bit further north. Now, originally, this storm was supposed to be a one and done in this whole area, excluding D.C., but including the other four big cities, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and Baltimore, as well as in the Great Lakes region. But now that this is taking an aim further south, we're going to be seeing those cold temperatures as well, impacting this as... Uh, this storm overall bringing a lot of freezing rain further south and that's not a good recipe. The GFS shows a very different thing right now too. We're actually going to go over to this model run. Now the GFS is showing Southern Rainmaker, everything's fine there, right here. So that low pressure moves on, it kind of weakens. Then it tries to regain strength, dissipates completely. This is now not really that coordinated as a storm. Then a low pressure forms here. Very minimal impacts in the northeast, probably maybe an inch or two. But most of the significant snowfall really isn't there. It has this low pressure very weak. Weak to the point that it really is barely considered a low pressure and then you get a second round in southern areas now that could bring in some more cold temperatures but overall the next system that the GFS has would be a rainy system in all the city targeting the interior northeast for that storm system so is the Northeast going to get robbed of another major snowstorm this year because I, I think that we're going to see a more active pattern late this month into early next month the problem is that if the moisture 
lines up with warmer temperatures, you're not really getting the real emphasis of winter, which seems to be the case right now, because whenever there's a major precipitation amounts in the Northeast, it's usually raining. So, what do you think? Comments in the comment section down below. What do you think is going to happen with this snowstorm? Do you think it's going to be further south, or do you think it's going to be just less significant and then lead up to just more rain? So, let's move on here to your forecast in depth. So, here is the continental U.S. We're going to be going through this very closely and monitoring your forecast. So, let's start off the day from when this is posted which is 5 a.m. on January 20th. So, we have very wet conditions in parts of the so Southern Plains and the Southern Rockies. That's because of this low pressure off the coast of California, and that'll be moving across the south throughout the next couple of days. We also have some lake effect snow, as well as some, maybe a little bit of lake enhanced snow in parts of the Northeast. Then, as we progress throughout the day, a low pressure forms off the coast. Now, that is going to draw this lake effect snow through parts of southern New England and parts of that I-95 corridor. While this southern rainmaker really starts to take shape here. Now, you can see here that on the NAM 3 kilometer model, it really doesn't have that emphasized, but be prepared in this whole area over here to see some possible snow squall warnings just depending on how things go. So, maybe another clipper system in the northeast on Thursday. So the southern rainmaker really starts to progress getting into Thursday as we start to see this rain kind of stick around here. The heavy rain sticks around in Louisiana and Mississippi. So, total positive snow depth change. You can see most of that is in the interior northeast as well as the Rocky Mountains. Then you have total accumulated precipitation, which is mostly in those areas where those that heavy rain kind of stalls out in Louisiana and Mississippi. And then you have the last thing that we're going to talk about today, which is temperature. Temperatures will be getting much colder throughout the day and that'll set us up for poss the possibility of the next snowstorm. If you didn't catch that, go back to the topic of the day because I go very in depth into that. So throughout the day today, you can see that pretty average, you get warming in the plains, kind of a cold pocket in the Northeast. But after today, you see this. This cold plunge will be moving through into the northern U.S. And this is during the day on Friday. It continues to move in. After that southern, snow, uh, southern rainmaker moves out, we will be seeing 40s pretty far south. And throughout the day today, we are going to be seeing some mostly 40s in the south. But you could see some 50s and 60s. But at the very far south parts of the U.S., including Florida, Louisiana, Texas. But we have to start watching this polar plunge here as it'll eventually make its way through the northern plains and eventually into the northeast. So definitely watch out for that, but that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.